Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video I'm going to talk about CXP boosts and some really helpful tips about how to make the best use of them. Now they have recently been added to the cartel market for 200 cartel coins which is an insanely high price. Now I doubt that many players will be able to keep using consecutive boosts on their tunes given their high price and given the fact that they're selling for upwards of 3 million credits on Harbinger's GTN. So you're going to want to make as much use of them as you can when they are active. Uh, for those of you who might be wondering how you might acquire them, well they do cost a few million credits on the GTN, but if you don't care about credits and you want to try to grind those CXP, I definitely recommend you buy them. They do make a difference. Uh, for example, not having a CXP boost active means I get an average like 600 CXP per war zone, but with the CXP boost active, I'm getting anywhere from 800 to 900 CXP, which is a ton more. Um, now one trick that I used to use with experience boosts themselves is uh, I would rack up a ton of missions, I would complete them before applying the boost. I would not accept the rewards of those missions. Then when I applied the experience boost, all the missions that I had already previously completed automatically gave me more XP. So basically it was as if I had the boost active while I was running those missions. Now unfortunately, this does not work with CXP boost. I tried it, I was really excited, I thought it was going to work and it, unfortunately it doesn't work. However, it does work for the CXP packs that you get from uprising bosses and, and operation bosses and stuff like that. So as you can see in this video, a normal pack gives me 200 CXP, but once I apply the boost, each of these pack things will give me 250 CXP. So in this sense, the boost kind of gets applied retroactively. So the ideal situation would be that you rack up as many of these CXP packs as you can, just fill up your entire inventory with them, then apply the boost. Uh, now that can be a little bit hectic for people because they're like, well, I want to use as much CXP as possible and stuff like that. Well, what I would recommend is if you are planning on using a boost sometime in the future, then just don't use any of these CXP packs. When you're completing uh, uprisings and are uh, killing operation bosses and stuff like that, just keep all these CXP packs in your inventory and only use them once you have applied the boost. When you apply the boost, it will work retroactively. So all of these CXP packs will give you more CXP. So uh, that's just one tip. Now, once you have applied the boost, you will only have three hours. So you want to make sure you're using as much of uh, that time as possible. So the best way to farm CXP right now are war zones, but Q pops can take a very long time. So to make sure that you are not needlessly wasting time on your boost, make sure that you initiate a conversation in between pops for war zones or uprisings or whatever you're doing. Now the timer on your boost will not run down if you are in a conversation with an NPC. If you do get a pop, it will show up even if you are in the conversation so you can enter straight away. So the NPC that I like to use is in the supply section over here. Uh, now as you guys can see in this video, when I enter the convo, my timer was at 2 hours, 58 minutes and 20 seconds. And after being in the conversation for a good minute or so, uh, I will still be at 2 hours, 58 minutes and 20 seconds when I leave. So this works on all boosts, not just the CXP boost. It can work for experience boosts and stuff like that. It is, it is the best way that if you're like waiting for pops, so if you're queued up for war zones or queued up for uprisings, it makes sure that you're not wasting that time. And um, that, that time is only being used when you're actually doing an activity that will keep you CXP. So those are both the two tips that I have for the CXP right now. Uh, those are probably the best ways to kind of make sure you're not wasting time. But other than that, if you do have another tip, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. And I think everyone else watching this video would love to know all these tips. Um, because given that these things are so damn expensive, you're going to want to make sure you're using them as much as possible and not, um, and not wasting it. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you guys found it informative. I'll see you in the next one.